Hi everyone and welcome to my video on um, cluttering. This is about how to make your child aware that um, they have um, speech problems. And um, let me let me talk about my history. So um, I actually didn't know that know about this um, until recently because like when I started when I asked my mom when I was going through speech therapy, um, did I have problems when, like, um, like, like I think the, the question I asked her was, did I start talking at a normal time? And she kind of defensively say, said, um, said yes. Um, but then later, um, later what she said is that, um, I had, I had speech, speech problems and she took me to a specialist. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm 48 years old. So this was in like the 1970s. Um, like a long, long time ago, before um, before anyone knew about cluttering, except for Dessa Weiss, and um, so so she went um, she went to the specialist. It might have just been a, a regular like general practitioner doctor. Um, they did some um, they did some tests. They um, I think they thought my speech was stuttering, and um, the doctor. Um, the doctor said, well, um, just, just don't, don't focus on it and it will go away. So, um, so my, uh, my mom never told me that I had speech problems and she always, um, um, and, and so I was, I was blissfully ignorant until, uh, when I was 27, one of my, um, and I've, I've written about this, um, story a lot, but one of my teachers told me that, um, that he had some friends in the speech pathology department that could improve my speech. And when I was 27, that was the first time that I realized, um, oh, oh my speech is different than other people's speech. And it, it, it actually wasn't like I went to the, I went to the speech um, therapy. I did all the tests and, or, or sorry, I went, I went to the speech center. I did all the tests and it wasn't until the um, speech therapist pressed play and recorded back what I, um, a speech sample that I realized, oh, my speech is different. So I was completely unaware that my speech was, um, was, was different than other people's until I was um, 27. So, so it's, it, it's kind of interesting for me because I'm a, I'm a pretty smart person, but I never like, and I can think back in times where I had trouble speaking. Um, it was mostly, um, well, uh, well, that's, um, that's probably too long for the for the video, but I, but during those times I didn't ever have the thought, oh my speech is different than other people's speech. I just um, and, and I'm not sure um, I didn't I, I didn't ever just I didn't ever think of it. It was just like some I, I just remember a lot of difficult um, painful experiences trying to um, talk, but I didn't actually um, I didn't actually connect them that I was having um, trouble speaking. I just thought it was a weird, difficult experience, I, I guess, or I, I didn't really think about it. Okay, so another example is, um, another example is um, when, I, when I did the Yahoo um, cluttering chat, um, I talked to this girl and um, she, um, she mentioned she was um, really, really bothered by her speech. And typical, um, typical to cluttering, um, like one of the things they say about cluttering is that um, clutters usually aren't bothered by their speech. Clutters are usually bothered that other people can't understand their speech. So, um, so, so, so this girl, um, this girl was describing um, basic, basically that. And um, but, but she was really, really bothered by her cluttering. And I asked her why, like I. Um, be, um, because if she followed my schedule where at 27, the, um, she had an epiphany, she wasn't, um, she was like 10 years away from, from, um, reaching that point. So, so I, so I just wondered why, um, why you, um, why are you 10 years earlier than me? And why are you really, really bothered about it? Like most clutters aren't bothered by their own speech. And she mentioned that her dad um, just really kept saying, hey, you need to improve your speech, your speech is bad. 
and um, and then the result with her, um, and and I would actually be surprised if she's still like motivated to improve her speech, or if she's just, um, she's just saying, oh yeah, I I hate that my dad um, is just really really bothered by this, so I'm just gonna like figure out ways to interact with people um, as speech free as possible. So 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 that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the other extreme um, is that uh, that there's um, there's this girl that. Um, is so bothered by her speech, but it's not really for the right reasons. She's bothered by her speech because her dad complains about her speech all the time, um, at least uh, at least from her her perspective. Um, I'm not sure. Um, uh, um, obviously, the reality is probably a lot um, different, but um, so uh, so so you have two um, two extremes um, two extremes in this example, neither of which are actually ideal. Is is one. One that a guy goes through his life until he's 27 and doesn't realize that there's anything wrong with his speech, and so where where I could have been improving my speech a, a lot, um, it took until I was almost almost finished with college to um, to get to the point where I could um, or, or, or where I could start working on my speech productively. And um, and then there's um, then there's the other example that where the and and that uh, that kind of resulted from my my parents just not ever mentioning my speech. And then there's the other example where the um, the parents are like, "Hey, your speech is bad. You need to improve your speech," or or, or at least that's how the kid feels like um, the parents are coming across. And then that's um, that's obviously not um, good either because. Um, be, uh, because then then the kid's motivation is just um, completely low so um so with me i'm very typical of clutters in that i didn't recognize that there were any problems with my speech but then i'm very atypical of clutters in that i'm very obsessed with improving my speech and learning as much as there as as much as i can about cluttering and then trying to improve my um trying to improve my speech and then trying to learn about cluttering so most um, most clutters aren't aren't that way and i was thinking well what what made uh, what made me that way about like why why am i that way personally and i think i think two things um my parents um my parents are are pretty different personality wise uh, but they have a couple things in common one of the things um so so my mom is uh, my mom's kind of um she um, she's always looking for kind of conspiracies not like um not like um not like big conspiracies, but like, oh, what's the real reason behind this? Uh, why are they, um, why, uh, why are they saying um, saying this? So, so, so she's always um, she's always thinking about, well, what's um, what's what's this? What's this? And I realized that that's something that I kind of picked up from her because when I uh, when I was twenty seven, I'm forty eight now, so that's what is that twenty one? So twenty one years ago, there um, there were. Um, there was one article from Ken St. Louis and then Dessa Weiss's book on cluttering, which was impossible to find. And, and um, I think David Daly had written a book, but um, but it took me like five years before I f actually found out that that even existed. Um, so 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 back then there were like two pieces of information, only one which um, one of which was readily available. And um, and I thought, oh, hey, I've, I've got this thing and nobody there's there's no information about it and so the, kind of the conspiracy um, or, or 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 just i um i i kind of modeled my mom and and when my mom finds something like that she does a whole bunch of research on it and so and so what i um what i did is is I said well um, there's only two pieces of information that i can find but there must be more about that and i just got obsessed of finding okay well what um what what else is out there what can i um what can i find and then um then after i researched that for a while then i um then i finally started um applying it to myself and and asking myself how how i can make um that better so 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 that's my mom oh and, and then my mom's um my mom's pretty um, my mom's pretty uh, excited about self improvement too. Um, she um, she's got this really big herb collection, and um, even though um, even though like like um, having uh, like finding herbs and finding like the right tea to make you feel better for for whatever like, like that's kind of my mom's thing. 
So that's um, that's really completely different than speech. But I think that I picked that up from my mom, like like my mom saying, "Oh well, because um, because um, I like I take I, I take vitamins every day, but I I don't know um, I don't know like what what they do and stuff like that." Um, but 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 just my mom my mom being really really excited about um, finding like the right thing to improve um, herself um, I think that um, ran um, rubbed off on me for um, for me learning about cluttering and then um, my dad has uh, my dad's written a whole bunch of books I think um, like like somewhere between like four and twenty depending on um, if you count like a small bound um, bound like twenty. 20 to 40 page um, thing as a book. So, so he's written a whole bunch of books and I think all, but maybe like one or two of them could be um, like, like they're ab about a whole bunch of different topics, but generally they're about improving yourself. Um, so, so one of the ways of looking at my dad is he's just really so obsessed about improving himself that he's written all these books on how to, um, how to improve yourself. And, um, and so, um, and so I realized that even though um, even though my parents aren't actually focused on improving their speech, I modeled pretty much all of the stuff about improving my speech after the positive um, characteristics of my parents. And um, and so so that's um, that's actually I think the nice way of. Or, or um, kind of the healthy way of, of motivating your um, child for for speech, and if you haven't if you haven't already, um, there's a book and a series called Parenting with Love and Logic, and um, the whole um, I'm gonna spoil spoil that for you, um, but but it's kind of good because I think the like the class is like 500 bucks and the and the book is long and boring. I um, I actually took the um, took the class and. Um, and watched a bunch of videos. I haven't actually read the book, but but the whole um, the whole point of this is that kids um, don't do what you tell them to do. Kids look at what you're doing and then they model that. And so that's the uh, that's the point of um, that's um, that's my point is the way to get your kid to um, start thinking about improving their speech is for you to uh, model that and for you to start improving your speech and and um, everyone probably says, "Well, I I don't have the problem. It's it's Johnny with the problem. Um, I'm uh, my speech is good. Um, my uh, my son has the problem, and and just like um, just like in parenting and with with love and logic, the um, um, like like the example is how to get kids to eat their uh, vet, uh, vegetables. And I and I tried this on a I tried this on a kid once. Um, you." Uh, like, like if you say, hey, um, yeah, these vegetables are horrible, but you should eat, you should eat your, um, your vegetables and you're not actually eating them, then there's like no chance at all of the kid eating their uh, vegetables. So, so with, with, with parenting with love and logic, what you do is you, um, you, get, the veg, um, you get the vegetables, you, you, um, you just kind of go through all the steps and you, um, you, you very deliberately exp, um, explain them. You, you say, oh, hey, Today we're going to make Brussels sprouts, and I'm so excited about Brussels sprouts. And then, and then the kids like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm excited about Brussels sprouts too. And then, um, and then you go, um, you go through, you go to the store. Oh look, these are these Brussels sprouts are awesome. They're um, they're um, they're great. Um, and then the kids like, oh yeah, yeah, but 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 um, but, but let's let, um, let's get some candy. But but then if you're super excited about the Brussels sprouts, then um, then um, then, then your your enthusiasm and your like, oh, this um, th th these Brussels sprouts are so awesome. They're so great. Let's um, let's do this together. Let's um, th um, then th then the kid's gonna the kid's gonna be like, oh, okay, this um, this seem this seems this seems exciting. So then, um, so then you make the Brussels sprouts together. Um, you talk about how, um, how how you're just so excited for them. Um, you um, you. Um, you sit down, you eat together, you um, you kind of over exaggeratedly dip your fork in the Brussels sprouts, and say, "Oh, this um, these are so great!" Um, dip your fork in, eat them, 
um, and and just like in, um, enjoy it. So I so I did that. It, it wasn't with as gross a vegetable as Brussels sprouts, um, but uh, but but it was vegetables, and I I'm excitedly eating them. And then the kid, uh, the kid that's modeling me, um, is eating them, and he <laughs> he um, he. It, um, it was so funny because I could tell that he thought they were really gross, but just the excitement, uh, um, the excitement of me, um, of me modeling this. Um, so, so he ended up eating them, but with a confused expression on his face, like what um, Joseph has no idea what is delicious, but this, um, this is exciting. So I'm going to continue eating these vegetables. So anyway, that's a long story about eating vegetables, but you can do exactly the same thing with speech is um so so if you want your if you want your child to practice um pr uh, practice their speech and if you want your child to recognize and um recognize that their speech is different the th the um, the worst thing to do is say hey your speech is different you need to improve your speech um, i'm going to send you to speech therapy while i go shopping like that's um that's um uh, that's that's the model for getting a kid that hates um working on their speech and it's especially hard with clutters who don't even recognize that they have a speech problem so what you uh, what you should do instead is um first and and Everyone can improve their their speech. Like a couple, um, a lot of the a lot of the U.S. presidents, like Barack Obama and um, Bill Clinton, have just awesome, excellent um, speech. Um, they're um, they're they're very good. Um, the per um, the person I always think of is David Letterman. So whenever I watch David Letterman, I always try to model um, model his speech and then learn stuff about his um, speech that I can apply in my life. So, so if I were, um, if I were trying to motivate my kid to improve their speech, what I would do is basically the same thing that I'm, um, uh, that I'm doing, but I would, I would become obsessed with my speech and try and say, okay, how do I get my speech to be really, really good? I did early Toastmasters. I, I, I'd, I'd start making YouTube videos like I'm, um, like, um, like I'm making now and, and you can make. Um, you can make YouTube videos on anything you want, like like, like on cooking or or puzzles or or um, just like books you read or like a travel a travel blog or like restaurants, um, just any um, anything that you're interested in. But if if during this whole process you say, okay, um, okay, Johnny, my um, I am uh, my passion is to try and get my speech to be as good as possible. And so I'm making these videos on um, cool restaurants, and so so um, come with me. We'll make the video together, and um, and help me help me because I'm trying to improve my speech. And and you do that um, you do that for a while, um, like, like make, uh, make a video or, or, or even just do um, do recordings. Um, and and it has to um, it has to be it has to be real or it should be it, it should be real. That's why um, that's why having YouTube as a hobby is is a great. Um, is is a great way to do this is that you can uh, like like whatever whatever it is that you're interested in you can make um, you can make videos on this and um, and then and then after um, after you've done that after you, after you've made a, a YouTube channel then then your your, um, your child's gonna say hey hey mom I want to I want to do that um, I want to do that too and then at that point it's a really really great way to work on your speech with your um, kid and um, like I think I've I think I've mentioned this before but if um, like one of the best things for parents is to enroll themselves in um, speech in in speech therapy it's it, it's a little bit expensive but um but i think like even if you're completely paying it for it yourself it's like 200 bucks so so um for um like even if you have to save for months to get 200 bucks to go to one hour of speech therapy then it's really really um th 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 that's probably the best money that you can um, you can do for your uh, for yourself because i think i think most of the people uh, most of the people with kids with cluttering um, the school pays for their uh, their uh, the school usually pays for a little bit of their speech therapy, but um, the the school's not going to pay for the parents' 
the speech therapy at all. And so, so, so that's um, that's what I uh, that's what I recommend. So, so anyway, um, my um, my overall advice is don't um, don't be so uh, don't be so, so hands off like uh, like the advice the doctors gave my parents in the 1970s. And don't be um, don't um, don't be the other extreme, which is saying, "Hey, um, hey, Johnny, um, you just you just said um again. Hey, Johnny, you're um, you repeated the same word five times. Hey, Johnny, you're amazing now. Um, like, like um, the in between um, the uh, the in between way of doing that that's much much more effective is you improving your own speech, which will then um, motivate your child to improve their speech. And that's, that's really, I think the only way to do that. And, and actually that's probably why speech therapists are so good because, um, pretty much all the speech therapists that I've met have excellent speech. So like every time I talk to a speech therapist, I realize, whoa, this, um, this person spent years trying to get really, really good speech. And and um, for me, it's really motivational saying, okay, well, if they can speak that fluidly and that clearly and enunciate everything so that I can understand, um, and, um, I can, uh, like, it's just very motivational for me too. So anyway, that's my, that's my video. Thanks for um, watching. And, um, and I guess that's the end.